Let's look at British and Spanish ancient DNA, respectively. We're going to use two modern people, one from the UK and the other from Spain. Because the UK and Spain are large areas, we're going to be more specific than just British and Spanish. We're going to look at the differences between a modern English person with a long-standing history in England and a modern Cantabrian person with a long-standing history in Cantabria. The English is a friend and the Cantabrian is my cousin. A couple of points before we get going. The ancient results from each only include the ancient samples that have been found and tested for. And these two modern people, the English and the Spanish person, are two individuals out of a larger population of people. And there would be different results, at least in part, if other people from their areas were to be tested. But in a broad sense, these results represent an average on a sliding scale of what you'll find from people in their respective locations in an ancient sense when comparing DNA. But to be very clear, DNA similarities or differences are more of a sliding scale among people. There's no solid cutoff line from a person from one area or another. Instead, people are a blend of earlier populations back in time and from multiple ancient people. Here's the map with the ancient samples that match the modern English person. You'll see the matching samples in the British Isles across northwestern Europe, central Europe, and a Visigothic sample in northeastern Spain. Here's a map from the modern Cantabrian person and their ancient matches that are found across the eastern coast of the Iberian Peninsula into France, Italy, central and eastern Europe, and a Scythian sample further east. This map is a comparison between the two modern people and where they overlap according to the ancient samples they have in common. The gray dots are the Cantabrian, Spanish matches. The white dots are the English, British matches. And the green dots are the ancient samples that they share in common. Although we consider an English person as British, likewise a Cantabrian person as Spanish, that is true, they are anciently made up of many different populations and countless ancestors that these maps only hint at, as we're only looking at the available samples that have been discovered, sequenced, and tested. But it does give us a general picture of where ancient people from across regions appear in modern people from both the UK and Spain. Here's a wheel with the ancient sample breakdown for the modern English person. And here's a wheel with the ancient sample breakdown from the modern Spanish person. For the English, the top closest ancient populations are Saxons and Franks. There's a list of genetic closeness as well. And if you look at the numbers, the smaller the number, the closer the population is to the modern person. A number zero would represent the modern person. For the Spanish, the top closest ancient population is Aquitani, and there's a few others that are included, Visigoths, Iberians, Gallo-Romans, and Basques. And we also see the list for the genetic closeness to ancient people for our modern Spanish person as well. Here's an interesting wheel that accounts for a few things such as genetic closeness and total SNPs. This one is for our modern English person and their closeness to the ancient samples. And here's the one for the modern Cantabrian person and their genetic closeness to samples. Here's a visual breakdown in percentages from the available ancient samples for the English person. And here's the breakdown for the Cantabrian person. Here we have a timeline view of the ancient samples that match the modern English person. The yellow lines denote ancient samples with shared DNA in centimorgans. The red and blue lines denote genetic closeness with ancient samples. And here we have the timeline of ancient samples that match with our modern Cantabrian person. Now let's look at some of the ancient samples that share DNA segments with our English modern person. Copper Age Bavaria from 2250 BC, 
a total of 22.28 centimorgans across five segments are shared. The largest segment is 5.87 centimorgans. Our modern English person is in the top 98% compared to other test takers that show connection to this copper age sample. And below we see the five segments that are shared on chromosomes 2, 12, 15, 16, and 21. Next we have a Bronze Age Orkney, Bronze Age Prague, Bronze Age Golden Boy from Amesbury found near Stonehenge, a Viking sample from Denmark, Bronze Age Scotland, a plague victim from medieval Netherlands, a bell beaker sample from Cambridge, a Lombard sample, and another sample from Bronze Age Prague. For our Cantabrian modern person, we have an Etruscan sampled from 650 BC, sharing a total of 25.49 centimorgans across four segments, with the largest segment being 8.74 centimorgans. The DNA shared is 93% closer than other users that match with this sample. And the shared segments are found on chromosomes 3, 5, 7, and 20. Next, we have a Visigothic match from 550 AD. Bronze Age Spain from 1290 BC. A Roman sample a Serbian sample from the Bronze Age, a sample from Bronze Age Sicily, a Basque Roman mix sample, a Vasconia Basque sample, another Visigoth sample from 550 AD, and a Lyrian Lombard sample from 580 AD. That's it. Catch you next time.